In this lesson, we'll discover the automatic and manual creation of zones. ARCHICAD Zone Tool helps to identify 3D spaces and stores multiple attributes and properties associated with them. Rooms and groups of spaces can be easily identified with the help of colored zone fills and stamps. Zones represent rooms in the building. Zones can be arranged and defined by so-called zone categories. This way we can assign common properties to multiple zones and edit them in bulk. ARCHICAD zones are real 3D spaces, which allow you to create conceptual space studies as well as to create detailed space lists and area calculations. Trim the 3D zone spaces to slabs, roofs, or beams to create more accurate volume calculations. Fine-tune the zone-related calculations and element subtractions to meet local standards in the options. Project Preferences Zones Dialog Furthermore, zones can identify existing geometry as boundaries, walls, lines, polylines, columns, etc. Later on, you can update zones so they follow the changes of the boundary geometry. The automatic boundaries can detect either the reference lines or the contours of the walls. You can edit the edges of the zone with polyline editing methods or edit the zone body with solid element operations. If there are no defined boundary lines or if you use zones before modeling the building itself, like in an early design phase, you can set the boundary lines manually with polyline editing methods. Activate the zone tool and open its settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Exhibition Space Zone Favorite from the Lesson 15 Favorites folder. In the Name and Positioning panel, set up the following parameters. Zone Category Education and Culture Zone Name Exhibition Space Zone Top 1 Gallery Home Plus 1 Top Offset to Top Linked Story Minus 250. This is the thickness of the gallery slab. Subfloor thickness, 0. Bottom offset to home story, 0. Zone polygon, inner edge. Open the settings panel and select the finishes heights page. Uncheck the scale sensitive checkbox. Check the Floor Finish checkbox, and in the Finish field, select Parquet. Switch to the Area Volume page, and check the Measured Area checkbox. Finally, go to the Appearance page, select None for the Frame Style parameter, and click OK. The zone is set to automatic boundary detection using the inner edge construction method. This means that the zone boundaries will be found automatically along the inner edges of the elements. Click inside the large room area to detect the boundary. The cursor will change to a hammer. Click again to place the zone stamp. The point you clicked on is marked with a small blue plus sign. It represents the point around which zone boundary detection recognizes the zone area. This means that if you draw a new boundary element between the stamp and this sign, the zone will be updated based on the plus sign position. Now open the Zone Default Settings dialog again and make the following changes. In the Name and Positioning panel, select the Communication and Access category. In the Name field, type Entrance. Set Top Offset to Top Linked Story to minus 460. This is the thickness of the flat roof slab. Go to the Settings panel. Switch to the Finishes Heights page. And set Tiles as Floor Finish. Then click OK. Click in the Entrance Room to create the new zone. Using the Info box, select the Technical Equipment category. In the Name field, type Washroom, and create the next zone.
Then create the WC zone in the right room of the building.